Um, so they would expect to hopefully work hard, um, be given an interesting problem to try and solve, and they would expect to fit into an environment um, where PhD students take their chemistry seriously and that they would be expected to contribute to. So I would expect a level four student to um, progress at a much slower rate in terms of what they do in the lab, um, to probably take a bit more time thinking about what they would do that day and, and indeed sort of setting up reactions and seeing them through and analysing what comes out at the end. Uh, I recognise that that's not a routine thing to do from going from teaching lab experience to a research lab. So I would expect the progress to be, to be much slower um, than a PhD student who is well into their PhD. Um, but nonetheless, I'd expect them still to, you know, to work hard, be committed and to do their best like everyone else. So, um, so level four projects are really important because they uh, give you a, an insight into what it's really like to do experiments in a research environment. And that's completely different to doing experiments in a teaching lab. Um, and experimental uh, chemistry is very much the only way you can, well, not the only way, but it's an important way to establish facts. You can come up with theories, but until you actually do an experiment, get a result, um, and I guess use that in a predictive way, then you can't really um, put your theories into context. So I think doing experiments is, is really important. Um, and actually doing experiments where the answer is not clear, you know what you're going to get, is also a really important thing to do. Um, because you think more carefully, I think, about the, the process of the experiment, what it is you're testing, what its strengths are and what its potential limitations are, much more than if you have an experiment which is going to deliver something, you already know what you're going to get.